Hey, what's up, guys? Merge HD here, and I've got the uh, brand new Delta 757 200 with winglets. This is a Gemini Jets model in a 1 to 200 scale. Make sure you check the description of this video for any uh, stuff you may have missed or um, any extra things. My social media links will also be down in the description. So, anyway, I pre ordered this model from JetwayModels.com. This is my third Delta model and my sixth 757 model. Um, the operations base for Delta Airlines is out of Atlanta, Georgia. Their main hub being Hartsfield, Jackson, Atlanta. The second he secondary hubs are Amsterdam, Schiphol, Boston, Logan, Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, Detroit, Metropolitan, Wayne County, JFK, LaGuardia, uh, Los Angeles, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Narita International, Charles de Gaulle, Salt Lake City, and Seattle, Tacoma. There's quite a few there. Um, they were founded on 30 May 1924 as a crop dusting company in Macon, Georgia. They commenced operations on 17 June 1929 with passenger services. Their fleet consists of 788 aircraft, 138 R757s with 122 of those being 757-200s. The Boeing customer code for Delta is 32 and they are the largest 757 operator. My experience with this aircraft is that I flew it from JFK to LAX back in early October uh, of 2014. Uh, 757-200 destinations for Delta include Honolulu, LAX, JFK, Minneapolis, Atlanta and there are some others here as well. They are mainly used on the uh, West Coast services, there's more um, for high density. So anyway, let's take a look around the box here. So we've got Gemini 200, Delta, there's the model and all the other kind of stuff there. This is the normal 757 box for uh, from Gemini Jets now, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, there's the licenses and all that kind of stuff. There's the right side, the bottom, left, and the top. Alright, so this is why it's a pretty normal 757 box now for Gemini. Got that Velcro um, that you can that sticks down this flap. You can read that if you want to. You can pause it there. But anyway, that's the model inside the box. So I've got the model out of the box, but there's still some packaging, which I'll just show you. So this is what this, uh, inside of the standard Gemini Jet 757 box looks like. So you got this plastic bit on top and then we have the model which I just take out here and it is a bit jammed in this box was sort of um, the box was bulging a bit like it was this whole stuff on the inside but where the model is uh, was pushing against the box and um, it was kind of difficult to get out in a way alright so there it is and get straight into it and also um, make sure you check out 777 Die Hard Forever's channel he's got a whole lot of new videos like the Etihad A380 and the Virgin Atlantic 787-9 um, he used to work for Delta and uh, he's got a lot of these Delta 757 models so go check out his reviews on those and also his new reviews uh, he does amazing reviews so um, yeah go check him out then, so we'll start at the front. We've got the cockpit windows, Sky Team logo, because they're part of the Sky Team Alliance, with, um, which is a group of 20 airlines. Then uh, there's part of the registration on the gear, 6702. Delta titles with the Delta logo. This is the 2007's colours, by the way, if you, if you want to know. Here's the inboard landing lights. Um, on the wing there, and there's, then we have the Pratt Whitney PW2037 engines. And uh, so I expect these to, expect these to spin. One's on the United one didn't really spin. Oh, okay. No, that one doesn't spin either. So it looks like um, no spinning engines on, on this aircraft. And then we come across the wing. And we see the winglet with the red navigation light. Then 
onto the fuselage again, coming down to the rear of the fuselage. We've got the American flag with, oh, well, because they're a, a, the flag carrier of the US, and then there's the uh, registration right there, N6702 or November 6702. Then we see the Delta logo on the tail with 6702 at the top there. Turn this around and have a look at the APU. Very, very nice. Then we have a look at the um, front of the aircraft on the other side this time. We see the cockpit windows, Sky Team logo, part of the registration on the gear, Delta titles. Then the, under the Delta logo, there's the front cargo container door. Pratt and Whitney engines and the landing light on the inboard part of the wing. Then come across the leading edge to the winglet. We have the green navigation light on this side. And then back down the fuselage to the rear cargo container door. American flag, the registration, and then the Delta logo on the tail. Okay, so I'll show you guys underneath the aircraft now. So we start at the front with the first gear, with these antennas and markings. Then we see the first antenna there, the first 3D antenna. And there's the Delta titles underneath with the Delta logo. And very nice under there, flaps, slats, ailerons. Same on the side. And you see Gemini Jets logo, and by the way there's the hole for the stand, which I'll get to later. And the uh, beacon light. Antenna, another antenna, and down towards the APU housing. So, antenna there. That's oh, sorry, beacon light antenna. Overwing exits, and across the wing, flaps, slats, ailerons, and spoilers, all those markings. Very nice. You can see those engine mounts. All that across there. Coming back down the fuselage, we have ADF there. Um, we have the Wi-Fi box there, or part and partly satcom, I think. Uh, no logo lights is that I can see, um, but they should be there. So what we'll do now, guys, is we will take a look at the seating. Um, there are nine different configurations for the 757-200 of Delta. That's right, nine. I will go, I'll go through the three most popular ones. Um, so I'll start with the transatlantic one. So there is Business Elite, which has 16 angle flat seats from rows 1 to 4. So from, from about here to about there. And then there are, um, sorry, there is Economy Comfort, 25 seats. Um, and on the left side, there are, it's from rows 19 to 22. So about here to maybe there I guess or over here somewhere um, and on the right side it's from rows 18 to 22 economy there are 130 seats from rows 23 to 44 on the left and rows 23 to 33 and 35 to 44 on the right so it's basically from about here all the way to the rear of the aircraft that totals 171 seats then there's the Hawaii configuration First class, there are 22 recliner seats from rows um, 1 to 5 on the left and 1 to 6 on the right. So about there, till about here somewhere, maybe until here. Um, then there is Economy Comfort, 21 seats from rows 21 to 23 on the left and 19 to 22. So about here until here. And then the rest of the aircraft is a 132-seat um, economy from rows 24 to 44 on the left and 23 to 45 on the right, which brings the total to 175 seats. Then there is the most common version, the 75N. 22 recliner seats in first class from rows 1 to 6, so here till about here. Then there is Economy Comfort, 19 seats from rows 16 to 17 on the left and 13 to 17 on the right. So from about here, or 
um, here to here on the left and about here to here on the right. Um, and then there is economy, 141 seats from rows 18 to 41 on the left and 18 to 40 on the right. That brings the total to 182 seats. So, what I'll do now, actually just first I'll show you these, it does roll, does tilt, and this front gear should swivel, it should on mine, but it doesn't for some reason, um, probably got a bit jammed or whatever, um, but I'm not too worried at this point. You've got the gear doors to put on if you want, if you want to, um, you know, put it up on the stand. And you see this blue film on the back of the stand that protects the aluminium on um, the back, which I'll see if I can take off now. Uh, yeah, I can take most of it off. There's no padding on the stand. Um, I don't know why. It's a general narrow body stand and just goes into here and it fits in quite nicely. So you can take these gears off if you want to. As you can see they're magnetic. You can put the gear doors on. But I like leaving mine on. Alright. So this is going to be about the end of the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, make sure you check out my next video, which is going to be a really awesome review. It's going to be the um, Qantas 737-800 in the retro livery. You do not want to miss that at all. Um, also check out my previous video, which was the United 757-300 and the Qatar Airways A350-900. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys for this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, uh, comment, tell me what you think of it. Also share and subscribe for more. So I do hope you enjoyed again and I'll see you guys next time.